This is the equipment that each group will get. So first of all, you have a set of big tubes and a grease pencil, and these are the ones that you need to label uh, either 1 through 11 for the temperature experiment or 1 through 9 for the pH experiment. There's also two small tubes. These are for the spectrophotometer, and we'll use those later. Then these beakers over here are what you're going to use to get the reagents that you'll be using in the reaction. Now, the most important thing to notice here is the color coding. Each one of these has a color and they each have a matching pipette that has the same color tape on. You have to pay close attention to the colors to make sure that you're not contaminating one solution with the other because if you get a little bit of the enzyme mixed in with some of the reactants, then your reaction is going to start before you're ready to, to look at it. All right, so next we have to go and uh, get the reagents that you'll be using for this. So these are all the reagents that you need to do the enzyme lab. So there's the glycol, the turnip extract that has the enzyme, there's the hydrogen peroxide, and then a pH 5 buffer. Now, now, rather than have everybody come over here and measure out little bits of these, what we want is for one person from each group to come over and get an aliquot, that's a little sample from each of these. And notice that it says on the signs exactly how much you need to take. So for instance, here I brought my pH 5 buffer with the yellow tape, uh, my pH 5 beaker with the yellow tape over from my desk. And I see here I need to take 30 mils of this back. So using the, uh, the correct graduated cylinder, I'll measure out 30 mils of that, take this back, and this should be enough for the entire experiment. The reagents for the pH experiment are stored on the other side of the lab, but it's the same sort of thing. For each of the different pH buffers, there's a uh, dedicated graduated cylinder and a little sign telling you exactly how much you're going to need uh, to complete your experiment.